Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back. Today we're going to be discussing Mithrin, a game we've been keeping up with on the channel which has recently launched on Kickstarter. Mithrin, if you don't know, is a 3D monster taming social sim hybrid with real-time combat and takes inspiration from games such as the Persona series, Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm, Monster Rancher, and of course Pokemon. For more information on the game, you can definitely check out this video or one of two interviews I did with the developers. That said, today we're going to be going over every known Mithrin, some of their mythology, some of their type things and their combat styles. So as per the usual, sit back, relax, and let's dive right in. Okay, so the way Mithrin actually act and behave are similar to that of Digimon. They are these fully sentient creatures, and even more so than that, they're pretty rare and unique. Building a bond with one is mutually beneficial in the sense that the Mithrin can protect the player, whilst the player has an inherent ability to bring out the Mithrin's potential. Each of these creatures will have some sort of mini quest associated with obtaining it, and that coupled with the game's real-time combat system, which features various play styles, keeps the game at a modest amount of Mithrin. There are around 30-ish planned for the game, and we currently have 8 that are public knowledge. I have no issue with the roster being more limited, as the game basically plays like a fighting game in combat, so it should help with balancing and keeping each Mithrin fresh and unique, as opposed to having clone characters or characters that feel too same-ish. The way the game's evolution mechanic also sort of ties into there being 30 base Mithrin, but then there's also evolutions that maybe aren't as different as typical evolutions, but still bring their own spin on the Mithrin itself to the table. So realistically, it's 30 base Mithrin. Anyways, the first Mithrin on our list is the first ever revealed Mithrin, and that's Graccoon, a well-rounded Earth-type grass raccoon. These creatures are oftentimes mistaken for shrubbery and other plants due to their appearance. Despite this, however, Graccoon are opportunistic eaters and will eat anything available, so don't be fooled by the scales on its body that resemble vegetation. I believe that a good in-universe reason for its appearance could be to stay hidden and more easily sneak up on its prey. Next up is Grimtail, a recently revealed Mithrin who we were actually given an exclusive teaser for on our Monster Tamer news segment from the developer. That said, I was pretty close in my analysis that I thought it'd be a cat mermaid. It's a fox mermaid, so I get one gold star for that. Anyways, Grimtail are said to be rather playful in nature, but are quick to aggression. These creatures tend to lean more towards water-based moves with high evasive tactics, and they got that Cubone vibe going on, this time wearing the skull of a demised fox. Now, who is this fox? Only Grimtail knows. Bearlet is a mushroom bear triplet creature, or I guess creatures, that are earth and biotype. They also possess a trapper combat style. These mysterious creatures utilize their ability to move quickly and burrow to avoid predators, and each pack of three consists of different personality types, the first being the level-headed leader, then the quick-tempered one, and finally the underestimated one. You can also get this thick boy as a plushie, so that's pretty cool. Furlet is a fire-type ferret snake with an unknown combat style, though I could easily see it being quite speedy, being able to sort of move around the battlefield with ease. That said, these creatures are very playful in nature, but this is also quite dangerous as they oftentimes will start fires unintentionally. These creatures can also move at speeds at around 12 miles per hour and can utilize quick bites, much like a rattlesnake, though these bites are painful but not venomous. They tend to live in warmer climates, including but not exclusive to tropical islands, deserts, lava itself, and I'm assuming volcanoes. Swankle is what I've referred to in the past as the SSJ4 pig, because I mean, look at the resemblance, all right? It's pretty cool with that fur coat and the exposed chest and stomach, though unlike Goku and Vegeta, this guy missed uh, core and cardio a lot. Now, these very intelligent yet lazy creatures prefer to sleep at all times if they can. They act as an earth-type bruiser and utilize their dense fur and the ability to dig through mud to gain the upper hand in combat. These guys are especially aggressive when woken up, so if you see one sleeping, tread lightly. Next on the list, we got the fire-type rushdown creature known as Scowl. This grumpy Mithrin will erupt into flames and attack anything it deems as a threat. The various light and dark markings on this creature indicate the intensity of these flames. Scowls tend to observe from the treetops, utilizing their ability to completely turn its head around and its very sensitive hearing to hunt for prey. They then utilize their powerful talons to rip apart their foes. Definitely not something you want to cross paths with if you can avoid it. Caro Air is a wind frog that holds the air type and acts as a zoner in combat. 
It can take control of the winds using its tail, and it's incredibly versatile when it comes to navigating atop the gusts. The air ducts on its palms allow it to control and shoot compressed air at its enemies, or even use it to push itself out of the way of danger or towards something. They can also inflate their croaker in order to spew out large quantities of air at a time. While these creatures primarily keep to the skies, they will oftentimes come down and enjoy themselves at the pond. I mean, they are frogs after all. Finally last and certainly not least is Radipus, the biotype trapper. This stylish and dare I say rad individual uses poison secreted through the webbing on its feet, arms, and tail to slide across long distances. These Mithrin are playful, confident, and very social, yet deadly if crossed. It's said if one winks at you, it likes you, but we all know it's just trying to get some, so just just back up. But uh, yeah guys, those were the 8 currently known Mithrin. We do have evolution, like I said, to talk about in the future, so that's why Arcane Graccoon wasn't involved. It's because I do have plans to go over the system as a whole, and I believe the evolutions are more of a subsect of the Mithrin themselves. Anyways, with all that being said, if you guys did enjoy the video, definitely make sure to like and subscribe. I'm going to continue to push out Mithrin content, whether it be through Monster Tamer News or separate videos like this. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.